Hello guys, today we are going to talk about arrays. Uh, there is a two type of arrays. There is a single dimensional array and a multi-dimensional array. Today we will discuss the single dimensional array. But let's first um, imagine that we have uh, 100 numbers and we want to um, get the average you know, of those numbers, the sum of like those numbers. So do you think we have to assign each number to a variable so we have to declare a hundred variables okay and assign the numbers to this variable so imagine I like how we use the code that we want to write and how many like you see like how many variables that we write so instead of that we can just you know use the array so the array actually is like you know we use it to store a fixed side size sequential collection of elements okay it could be a number it could be a string it could be uh, uh, characters it could be a double could be like you know it could be like anything but it has to be from like a same data type okay so let's say we we have an integer array so we're gonna store integer you know like number integer data type integer and this if we have a, a character char array so we'll store only char if we have a double so it will be like that so um and now we're talking about like okay so what's like the, the array basics okay so we have to create create the array as i told you so and we have to have like a fixed size of this array so let's say we create array of 100 okay uh, like integer so it, it the size will be 100 so we create uh let's say array uh of like uh, uh, character so the number of character that will be stored over there let's say 10 or 5 so should have like we create the array so that it has a name and we we create it we declare it and we have to have a size of this array okay and then the reference of this array okay so uh, and also we use this reference actually to, to access the elements in this array okay so we're using like the index so for example like if we have an array of five let's say five integer so it will starts from the reference will starts from zero okay so this is the way actually it counted so it starts from zero to four zero zero one two three four okay so this is the reference it will be index of zero that's will store the first elements in the array index of one you know this reference will store the se the second you know uh, value the second elements of this array the you know the reference or the index of the you know three the third index will store the uh the the, the you know the elements four okay and this is how it works so we start from zero okay and then we start to count so if we have a five okay so it's will we start the reference from zero to four if we have a hundred so the reference will start from zero to 99 okay so so let's talk about creating arrays so the declaration of an array variable does not allocate any space in the memory for the array okay so we just you know declare it okay so this is the way we declare the, the you know the array but we don't you know uh, allocate any space yet okay and then we only you know it's created only the storage location for this reference to the to the array as i told you so let's say if we have a five so the reference will be from zero to four okay so this we just create the you know the declare the array and we give it the size okay but if the variable you know does not contain a reference to the array so the value you know the value of this variable is null so you cannot assign elements to an array unless this array has been created so what that mean so when you create the, the array let's say array of five okay so it will be declared the very the, the array and the size will be five and we don't assign any elements any elements yet to you know the references so that mean by default actually all the the value of those you know reference you know the variable will be null okay until we assign you know value to those um, you know uh, reference uh, and also we cannot assign elements to an array that it's you know unless it's created you know so we cannot assign let's say uh, i'm gonna call a reference zero and assign it with whatever like a value of five or like a value of two okay 
you know when the the the, um, the array is not created yet of course this is not gonna happen so there is like a you know a sequence so first we have to declare this array and, and create it and give it a size and then we start to assign okay each reference with the variable okay so um, right here also after the array you know an array variable is declared you can create an array by using new operator okay to assign it it's same like here so let's say we have array ref var okay equal new element type and we give the array size we will discuss that you know later you will understand it later when we like you know open the uh, net beans and talk about that so we will you know we do two things we create the array okay using like new it's create like you know the array equal new you know elements type and then the array size we, we will see that later so we create an array using this new and then it's assigned the reference to the newly created array to the variable okay so we will assign the this the array ref var to this so it will be array ref var equal new element okay and we could do we could do this you know all this combination together <clears throat> instead of the, like you know in the steps like that so we can declare the array and create in the array and assign the reference of the array to the variable all together like that okay so it's it's right here as you can see new elements type okay and then we open the you know the array array equal new elements type array or we can do it like that elements type array ref for equal new elements and this is the way actually you know <coughs> when you declare the array it should be like that so this is the, the you know the operator that we use um, and also as you can see here this is like an example so let's we create array of double so it will be like that double array okay we declare it it's double array and we give it the name my list and then it's a new double and the size is 10 okay uh, so right here also this is how we displaying the array okay the from let, let's say we want to print something out from the array so it will be like that for integer and then if you you remember now it's the array name list and it has a 10 um, you know elements so the reference it will be from 0 to 9 remember that very well from 0 to 9 since it's 10 and uh, we will print it that way so integer i this is like a counter when is you know i the, remember this is the beginning okay and this is the end okay so it will be like that for integer i i less than my list okay this is the end and then i plus plus and then we will print out this system okay so if you guys see here that we want to print each you know elements of the array by you know calling the reference you know calling the value of this reference okay so let's say here from my list dot lens it will be what it will be the lens will be 10 okay so when is i less than 10 because i told you it's, we started from 0 to 9 so it cannot be from 0 to 10 okay it will be error because like that it will be 11 elements which is wrong so remember that well so when we print we print from 0 to 9 okay so that will be 10 elements okay so we print from 0 where is the i equal 0 so we replace here my list the array 0 the reference 0 and then 1 2 3 and keep increasing till up to 9 okay when it goes to 10 of course you know it will you know just will be false so we we're not going inside this statement here another example um let's um you know uh, say that we want to let the user enter a certain number okay and then we will like you know calculate the sum of this number and get the average okay so let's say we want to see something like that you know at the you know when we execute the code we enter let's say enter numbers of times so like 10 and then enter the numbers so we'll put like 3.456 16.5 all these numbers and then we'll print the average is 5.75 
okay let's say we want to print something like that so what we need to do, what we need to do we need to let the user you know enter the number of the the, the array the si sorry the size of the array okay so there's the first things so the um, we need to read from the keyboard first the size of the array okay and then the user should enter the numbers the elements of those array okay to assign it in the the array and then we will calculate the sum and get the average let's see how we're gonna do this um, over here you know if you guys still remember that the way that we read from the keyboard so let's remove this so I don't want you to get confused so we will put this as an input over you know here before the class import java dot you tell dot scanner but anyway so this is the way we should like you know create the object called input from you know class scanner so scanner input equal new class scanner so we don't need to you know new scanner system dot in okay and then system dot out dot print so this is the message that entered the number of item so the message that you know appears to the user to enter and then we read this we put it we read this number and we put it in the variable integer in okay so this is the name of the variable okay and then we will create declare the uh, array and this is the way we declare double we do everything right here so we declare it and also we uh, you know give it like the data type and we assign the uh, and, and, and give it the size okay so the double and we call the array numbers and equal new double and right here this is in which is will be the number of the the you know the, the size that you know the user gonna enter okay let's say here the user will enter two so right away we you know we will declare the next step we will declare double the array type double and we will uh, you know has a size of two if this is like three it will be like the three and then we'll have here like a sum we call zero and then let's the user enter the numbers okay so let's say here is three so this is will appears like three times if we put here four okay this appears four times okay we'll display it four times to let the user enter four different numbers okay and we have like the our a uh, loop okay so our loop will start you know we initiate a mm -hmm. counter which starts from zero and then right here so the i less than n okay so the in here this is will be again the size of the elements and we started from zero again i repeat it again we started from zero because as i told you when we call the mm -hmm. reference so the reference starts from zero which it has the first elements in the array okay so let's say if this elements will be if this array size will be five so here we will call from reference zero to f uh, four okay zero one two three four that's five elements okay so <clears throat> this is i less than n okay or instead of n also we can do like what we can call the um, this the, the the number okay i mean like the name of the um, the name of the array dot length okay so we could do it like that number dot length okay so either way works okay same correct and then the you know after irritation it should be you know the 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 value of i will be increased okay so we start from zero and then increase to one th two three four that's it and then when it's five so this condition will be false so we're not going inside the statement and then we want to print all the numbers you know all the elements in this array so it will be like that the number okay i the first one it will be zero and then we will you know add the sum plus whatever like this value of the number so the sum starts from zero and let's say we have the first number two so it will be zero plus two and then keep going like that and then at the end we will calculate the average so let's do that uh, open the netbeans and you know do this exercise i hope you guys understand that thank you so much for listening and i will explain um you know do this practice in uh, netbeans in the next lecture thank you so much for watching goodbye